Hi all, Larry Feldman again. In this lesson, I want to talk about the five number summary that is used in statistics. And it's used to describe uh, five key characteristics of a set of data. And the best way to describe it is with, uh, with a couple examples. And the first example is going to use an odd number of data points. Like I show, like I have on the screen here, we have seven data points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first step is to arrange the data in ascending order, meaning going from smallest to largest. So we have to do that first. We have negative six, negative four. I'm just going to cross these off as I go. Um, zero, eight, ten. 12 and 30. Once the data is in ascending order, there are two characteristics that we can identify immediately. The first one is that the minimum is negative 6. The second one, the second characteristic, is that the maximum value is 30. So this is this part is trivial. And these are two of the numbers in the five number summary. The next thing that that we need to do is we need to identify what's called the median. And the median is the central value. So with an odd number of data points, the median is very easy to identify. It's it's this 8 right here because we have 3 data points to the left and 3 to the right. So this is called the median. And it's also called Q2, which, is, which means second quartile. And um, one very important property about the median is that roughly 50% of the data is above the median and 50% is below. Now, in this case, it's not exactly 50%. And um, it will actually never be exactly 50%. But the more data points you have, the closer you can get to, to that 50% number. Now once you have the median, we can look at the data to the left and to the right. And if we look at the data to the left, I'm just going gonna, gonna to box that and box that. Now I want you to think about this green rectangle as, as a new data set. And to find Q1, which is the first quartile, we have to find the median of this, of the data in this green rectangle. And so the median of this data is negative four, and this is called Q1. And similarly, we need to find the median of this green rectangle on the right, and the median is 12 here, and that's Q3. And so here, here's, here are the five numbers in the five number summary. The minimum is negative six, Q1 is negative four, the median or Q2 is eight, Q3 is 12, and the max is 30. And um, I just also want to mention that if you think about quartiles, roughly, uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a, uh, a little number line here. So let, let's think about it this way. We have the minimum value on a number line right here and let's say this is the max. And then we have Q1, Q2, and Q3. And they don't necessarily have to be evenly spaced. In fact, in general, they, they won't be. So let's say we have Q1, Q2, and Q3. Now, th this is, this is the, the point that I, that I want to make, or the key point that I want to make. Roughly 25% of the data falls between the minimum and Q1. 25% is between Q1 and Q2. 25% is between Q2 and Q3. 
And lastly, 25% is between Q3 and the maximum. Now let's look at an example using an even number of data points. So let me just pick eight random numbers here. Negative five, negative one, zero, two, nine, 10, 11, and 15. So I already arranged the data in ascending order. And as I mentioned before, the minimum and maximum are easy to identify. However, in this case, the median is a little bit tougher to find because there is no one value that is in the center. However, you can think of it this way. We have two values that are in the center and we need to identify the average or find the average of these two numbers. So how do you find the average or arithmetic mean of two numbers? Well you add them together and you divide by two. So this is 11 over 2 which is 5.5. This is the median or as I said before it's Q2. Then what we do and this part is a a little bit confusing but not horrible. We, we draw a dashed line down here and we want to identify the data to the left of that dashed line and to the right of it. So let's do that. Now what we need to do to find Q1 is look at the data to the left of this dashed red line. And so we're, we're now finding the median of this green rectangle. And the median is the, the average of those two numbers. So we have negative one plus zero over two, which is negative one half, and that's Q1. And then we look at the median of this green rectangle and that's the average or arithmetic mean of those two numbers. So we have 10 plus 11 over 2, which is 21 over 2, which is 10.5. So we have the minimum, the minimum is negative 5, Q1 is negative 1 half, the median or Q2 is 5.5, Q3 is 10.5 and the maximum is 15. Anyway, that's it for now and I will talk to you next time. Thanks.